We are here today in Halewood Park and the project is called Following the Roots. Following the Roots is a Heart of Glass project that's been commissioned by Knowsley Metropolitan Borough Council as part of their Every Town and Village Tells a Story programme. I've been running a series of workshops in the forest with the local residents where we've been making art materials from the forest itself. So inks from oak trees and birch trees and we made some charcoal and we've been sitting and drawing and chatting and it's, it's allowed us to make a connection with the forest but also for me to slow down and spend time with people from Halewood to find out a little bit more about what they think is important about the place. So at the start of this project we felt it was really important to capture not just the heritage and stories of the history of the town and the village but also to try and capture some personal stories from the people that live here. So we've invited people to share whatever they want really about the local area but also about their experiences of growing up or moving to Palewood. Seeing the project come to life is amazing. We've never had anything or that I can remember that celebrated Halewood's history and combined that with the nature that we're surrounded by. So seeing them combined and something that will hopefully be here for a long time is really exciting. So the works will be a series of ceramics, like a plaque that's slightly moulded to the shape of the tree. I've developed something that's a trail that takes these stories around the forest and I've identified a set of trees and connected a story from Halewood with the specific trees. So I'm interested in how we can intertwine the story of the trees and the knowledge that they hold with the population that inhabit the same space. Working with Fran has been amazing because the piece of work that I particularly love is the stuff around Ford. I was brought up looking at that mushroom and she's incorporated it in such a dynamic yet familiar way and then to incorporate it into nature it's amazing to see it come to life. I think it's just getting out doing something different within where you live. We walk around here we come for walks here but it's not been opened up as much as what Franz showed us and it just makes you more aware then as you're walking through your own environment. Like every day people that use Halewood Park will see it in a new light. Um, and the, the trees that they walk past, they, they maybe recognise one or two trees in the park but this will help them to identify at least five or six species and then I'm sure they'll be able to identify them in other places as well. I like the, um, the one that had something to do with um, love, I think that was the willow, because I just like the idea of this being a place where people can find some well-being and, and you know, contemplate things and, and find that sort of love in, in the area and love of nature. I just think it's a lovely thing that she's doing for Halewood and I think being a part of that, you know, you go past and ooh. Local history can sometimes be seen as not as important as wider history. It's not your big history, it's not your battles, it's not your kings, it's not your queens. But local history is what makes us as individuals. It's not kings and queens that make us, it's where we're from and how we connect with the past and move forward with it and be better.